last play, man? Um, play was called. I knew we needed something. Somebody, I've been telling the guys all week, just make your plays. You know, you don't have to put on any superhero capes, but I know I have to go out there and help my team out. Taylor threw a great ball, gave me an opportunity. That's what we tell them all the time. Just give me a chance, and I'll go make a play for you. What route were you running on that? So I wanted to run a post corner. Um, so I was looking in mm -hmm. and then breaking my route based off of DB's leverage, you know, and he was under, so I set it higher. And uh, like I said, Taylor threw the ball, trusted me, and I just went out there and made a play for him. It was kind of a 50-50 ball. Did you have to go up and, and snatch that? Absolutely, absolutely. And those 50-50s, you know, we tell them that's our ball. That's our ball. There's no 50-50. When it's up in the air, you get it. Did you have an idea that the ball was going to come to you on that, on that uh, route? I had a pretty good feeling. You know, got a good look. Safety rotated a little, you know, and then one-on-one. -on -one, like I said, you couldn't ask for anything better. What happened with the DB? It just, like, fell? Or? I don't know. I, I couldn't tell you. I was just focused on that ball. When that ball's in the air, that's the only thing my eyes are set on. I just got to go get it. Well, either way, you know you're going to the conference championship game, Absolutely. especially given how this season started. What does that mean to you guys? Um, it means everything, especially to a player like me, a veteran. You know, I tell these young guys there's no better feeling than – hosting and winning that championship. You know, that's always been our goal. And, um, you know, now it's in our hands. So we just got to continue to execute and we'll go ahead and take that. What did you think of Taylor uh, leading that drive? I mean, he's so poised, you know, even in the huddle and every time even on the sideline, you know, he's telling us, hey, let's go win this. Let's go win this. You know, that belief, that confidence. And, you know, he looked me in my eyes. I looked him in his eyes. There's no doubt. Just let's go get it. What, uh, what happens to your stomach and your nerves when that fumble comes out? At the oh, end? my goodness. The end of that game, I, I'm still processing it. Even us all in the locker room, we're still looking at each other like, <laughs> we got the win, let's, let's go. We'll watch the film and correct, but yeah, man. Were you on the field? Yeah, I was, and okay. I saw that, and I was like, turned into go, get them down. You know, Coach D and our defense, they do a great job just telling us, keep us in the fight. We're always in the fight. Just go get them down, you know, go get them down. Give us a chance, give us a chance. You know, Taylor had a great angle, went out there, even his helmet popped off, but he <laughs> laid it on the line and you see it, it came to fruition. To, to see JL get that second pick though, no, it's it's over. Um, how, re how relieved was everyone on the side? So relieved. And I, like I said, I'm still processing. I don't, I, they were like saying he was out, saying he was in. I mean, I was like, what's going on? I saw a clock was running, we took a knee. I was like, let's go. I, it was crazy. What kind of changed in the second half? It just seemed like things opened up for the offense a little bit more. Um, yeah, I mean, we just got to relax, stick to our fundamentals, our techniques. You know, our coaches come in halftime and just tell us, hey, we can't stop ourselves. We can't shoot ourselves in the foot. You know, that's the same motto all the time. You know, self-inflicted wounds, we got to eliminate those and just move forward one step at a time. Uh, that drive at the end of the first half was probably one of the best passing drives you guys have put together all season. Mm -hmm. Were you going no huddle? And, you know, how how proud were you of how you guys executed that? Yeah, that, that's our two-minute tempo, you know, and every team has it. Every team works it, you know, and us especially. We already know, you know, like I said, there's no hesitant. There's no nothing. You know, we look at each other. Hey, clock, you see it? Everyone, two-minute, let's go. You know, get the ball, get out of bounds, get down, get to the ref. Let's, let's handle our uh, operation. I remember the preseason, you, one of the quotes you said that stuck with me was the real will prevail and you've been working in the dark and all that. Uh, mm -hmm. You made some big plays down the stretch and especially, you know, kind of the, the, the go-ahead touchdown tonight. I mean, how how's this journey been for you in your final year? I mean, a swing of emotions, you know, it's always it's just the love of the game, the love of my brothers, my teammates, my coaches, this community, this city, this university, like just going out there, man, and, and being my best. And that's all I ask for. That's all they ask of me. You can't ask for anything else. So, like, just continue to know, like, I got it. Trust in myself. Believe in myself because I know they do. And it'll all come to, to truth.